All right, all right, all right. I think that replacing the ball screw cover was a great success. These are the official instructions from Haas. And they talk about having to remove the rear ball screw lock nuts, the motor ball screw coupling, and the Y-axis servo motor, and removing the front coupling here too, and taking the whole thing out, and then you can move the ball screw back and forth to either get the rear in or get the front in, and you have to remove the front handle too. But the biggest problem is that this nut right here has a torque specification that you need to torque this back up to, and I don't have the tools needed to tighten this with a torque wrench. So I did not want to have to take this apart. And this solution that I came up with worked a lot better. It did no damage to the spring way cover and it worked out really well and it was quick. I'm going to cut a length of this cardboard tube and cut a slit so I can put it over the ball screw while installing the spring so I won't damage anything. I practiced with the old spiral metal spring first from the milling machine that came off of it to see if I could let it extend and then coil it on very carefully. And I believe I can after practicing with this. The instructions that came with the spring itself do say that this is an over end type spring. There's wind on guards that are available for installation on shafts or screws which are not exposed to slip on applications. So the wind on would actually be a lot nicer to use. I'm gonna to attempt to wind this one on though. This is made by Sentry, so Sentry cover. And here's the parts number. So McMaster carries the same brand. It's a perfect size to fit over this cardboard tube that I have. So I'm gonna slip it over this tube and I'm going to release the pressure on it and allow it to unwind over the tube. So at some point it's going to slip out where it's going to slip past itself. Okay, so it's going to allow it to do that. And it's got to remember that this is the tight small end that's going to go over it first. So I'll keep it on here to avoid it getting tangled up. So I've passed the spring up through the bottom here to get to the ball screw on the other side. 